The year is 2016. The place is Chinoris. We're still in the midst of a zombie apocalypse like has never been seen before. The zombies though, they've evolved. They become faster and more bloodthirsty. This food situation is the same as it ever was. It's hard to survive. Trying to find food and drink is near on impossible. There are guns, however. There's guns that the farmers have left, and there's guns that the military have left. There's also other survivors around, but you know, they never change. Since the zombie apocalypse, other survivors are trying to find food and clothes around the main urban centres. But really, that's just a dangerous game of cat and mouse. There's always somebody trying to take what's yours. Even places that were once thought of holy before the apocalypse have now just become a corner, a tactical advantage, a refuge for murderers. never used to be this way. When the zombie apocalypse first started, you could trust each other. You was happy to see another human being, another survivor. It almost brought us together in some strange way. A bit like when there's a war in a country, people band together against the zombies. But the longer it went on, the more hungry people got, the more thirsty they got, the more they saw that other survivors were murdering people for what they had, you couldn't trust a single soul. And the people that did trust people, well, there was a 50-50 chance that they were gonna die. If you trusted the wrong person, and that person was out to kill you and take what's yours, you're done. There's no second chances from that. So me, I decided not to trust anyone anymore. And this guy that I saw there, to be honest, a few years ago, we would have been happy to say hello, to share our food together. But now, I was just happy that the zombies wanted his flesh more than mine. So after many years of the struggle, with only hunger and death as my only companion, I remembered way back when, when it all first started, that somebody had told me that if you head north to the very top of Chinoris, there were in fact people that had got away from the murder, had formed communities that looked after each other, and if you played your cards right, you could be accepted into one of these communities. So, I had nothing to lose. There was so much death, so much starvation, so much suffering down south. I thought I would bite the bullet and make the journey up north. So, I set off on my journey. I didn't have a map. I didn't have a compass. But all I knew was that it couldn't carry on like this. 
sooner or later, someone was going to be a better shot than me, the zombies were going to catch up with me, and I would die. As much as I was jaded by people killing each other, I wanted to be alone. I thought that was the only way to survive. Also, deep down inside me, I knew I needed a friend. And that's what I had to do. So I set off on a mission up north to try and find somebody who I could be a companion with. After exploring one of the old ancient castles of Chinoris, I actually found myself a compass and that was really going to help me to find my way up to a place what I'd heard of called the Northwest Airfield. That place was rumoured to have communities there and people that maybe I could join and I could trust to get away from all this murder and suffering down on the coast. As I started to make my journey up north, I moved between little village and little town, trying to find what food and water there was left over. And I started to think to myself, was there really any people up north? Maybe it was just a big old wives tale and everybody was just down on the coast trying to survive. And then I started to find signs that people had made it up north. Maybe the dream of actually meeting some friendly people that we could form a community with was going to become a reality. Or maybe the people up north were just as bloodthirsty but better armed than people down on the south coast. While I was on my journey up north, I started to get really, really hungry. My food had run out over a day and a half ago, and I was starting to feel really weak, really lethargic, and I had to take a risk. I had to go into one of the biggest towns up north to try and find some food. So I made my way into one of the old abandoned stores there, and all the while I was thinking in the back of my mind, what would I do if I come across another survivor? What would I do? And while I was in the store, I started to hear a noise outside. It didn't sound like a zombie. And that question of what I would do if I saw another survivor was about to become a reality. There it was, I just found my first survivor after hours and hours, and I killed him. I think he shot two at exactly the same time I did. Maybe I should be thankful for being alive. Maybe, in a different scenario, we could have been friends. But what was done, was done. He was dead, and I needed to go back there and to get his gear. Maybe add some food or some drink to help me survive. But I think the dream of meeting friendly players up north, it was over. After I gathered my composure after shooting that guy, I slowly went back to see if I could loot some stuff off of his body. And that was the beginning of the end. Now I've got broken legs. I knew how this was going to end. I'd seen it happen too many times to other survivors. I just hoped that it was going to be over quickly.
just bandage up. Maybe the other survivor I shot has got some morphine on him. I can fix my legs. I've just got to make it to the body. I can do this. Maybe I can survive. God, no! Not like this! Please! Don't worry, I've got you, buddy. Are you okay, buddy? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. So come here, have some breakfast. It's nice to see you're finally awake. Oh my god, did you guys save me back then? Yes mate, you have seemed to be uh, having a little zombie problem. Oh my god, I thought I was gone. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate what? it. Mate. How long have you been here? We sort of held up for three, four months here now. Everyone I've come across has just been shooting me on sight and uh, did you come up here to get away from all that, or...? Yeah, pretty much. We had enough of it. Oh, it's so quiet. Good. This place is amazing. Beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely, mate. We used to come here on fishing trips when we were kids. Are we safe here? Is there any bandits around here, or...? No, mate. You're in the middle of nowhere. It's lovely. I guess deep down inside people, they are good at heart. And maybe... It's just circumstance that changes people. Or maybe it's me that's changed from now on.